Hello everyone, how are we doing today? Tonight, whatever. So, uh, I told you guys I was going to show you this dinosaur. This is a IBM P-Series server. And, uh, just listen to these statistics. It's 30 inches long, 18 inches wide, and 14 inches deep weighs 210 pounds oh wow that doesn't come in at all uh, which is 95 kilograms so I'm gonna do this video in sections since I've got uh, such bad lighting over here but I'll show you guys what I can right now So my plan wasn't to even uh, continue recording because I wanted to, uh, I was just going to pull everything out and throw it on the other table over here that I have light. But I guess you guys can see a little bit, so we'll just keep on trucking and see where we go from here. By the way, I haven't had this guy open yet, so I'm hoping I'm not causing a mess with what I'm doing here. Okay, everything still looks okay. Hey. Empty. I didn't want an empty one. Okay. Actually, this might turn out to be something pretty fantastic. So, um, it definitely explains the weight. Yep, I'm going to have to pause, and then I'll see you guys here in a few minutes. Okay, we're back for a second. So, this is the guy. you seen me already pull him out. Pop that off of there. But, look. This is the CPUs and RAM, guys. Looks like uh, each one of these... From what I've seen so far, one gig. So I got eight, sixteen, twenty-four gig. I still haven't looked at the processor yet, but she's down in there. We'll pull her out and take a look before it's all said and done. But I wanted to show you. Uh, oh yeah. Look at this. Look at these gold fingers. Those are absolutely insane. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to have to break them off, right? And then uh, I went ahead and pulled one of the uh, backplane boards out. Get it up here so you can see it a little bit, maybe. Alright. And hang on. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, uh, each one of these actually had a PCI card. Um, this is the second or third p series ibm that i've had and uh you know normally i'm not this lucky uh normally the machine's been empty 
when I get a hold of it or I just I have the white cards and only find like one card in it let's see if I can get in here and show you that I don't know why sometimes this guy will uh, zoom right in and sometimes it won't do it at all but if you guys ever come across one of these the uh here, let me find one that was pretty decently easy to get out they're uh the plug and play i guess you would call it let's see here can't see a thing wow well guys um basically what i was wanting to show you is to get these loose push the little button in and then you push the whole thing down and it raises the mechanism if I push it in, right. yeah, puts it in and raises it, as, raises it out at the uh, the board there. Oh, I'm gonna dig back in. Be right back. All right, guys. So uh, I was getting ready to apologize for taking so long, but for you, it's only been a few seconds. For me, it's been about an hour. So. I finally got all of that taken off and that monster down there. Um, but I'm uh, done working on this guy for the night. So we're going to have to make this a part two. I did want to show you the CPU. One of the CPUs before I cut out of here. Hey, what? IBM International Business Machines. Machine is right because these things are monsters to take apart. A lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. I'm having a lot of fun, but uh, it's just very time consuming. And uh, I gotta figure out. One, if those CPUs are worth anything, because they seem like they're attached to the board. Um, I know some IBM uh, CPUs can be, uh, I mean, they've got some that are worth hundreds. Uh, most of the time, they're only 20, 30 bucks, but I think these guys are actually uh, soldered to the board, though. So I'm going to get off here, guys. And we'll catch you tomorrow with part two.